How do you prepare for an open house when your house is for sale? That's what we're gonna talk about today. Hi, I'm Melissa Spittle, the local real estate expert serving Carroll County and the surrounding areas in Maryland. Today, I'm going to share with you my top 10 tips for getting your house ready for an open house when it's listed for sale. But before we get started, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel and please hit that bell so you are always the first to know when a new video is released. Tip number one, make sure you have great curb appeal. When people show up to your open house, you want to make sure they want to go inside because they like what they see on the outside. Tip number two, make sure the shades are open and the lights are on. When potential buyers walk through your house, they want to see that it's light and airy. They don't wanna see dingy darkness. Tip number three, make sure your house has a comfortable temperature. If it's cold out, your buyers are gonna show up wearing coats all bundled up and they're not gonna stay long because they wanna want to hurry out and get back in their warm car. Likewise, if it's summertime, make sure the air condition is on or the ceiling fans are on or just make sure the house is cool and comfortable. The goal is to keep buyers in your house as long as possible. Here's tip number four. Make sure your house is clean from floor to ceiling. Buyers want to see a clean house. They don't wanna see your dust. They don't wanna see your crumbs on the counter. They don't want to see dirty dishes in the sink or dishes in the dishwasher, even if they're clean. So the cleaner your house is, the better it's going to look. Tip number five, get rid of clutter. Nobody wants to walk through your house and see a bunch of junk laying around. And while you're at it, make sure you organize your closets because yes, they're going to open closet doors. So make sure they're orderly and your kitchen cabinets. Organize your dishes so that they're, again, orderly, your food. You want people when they open your cabinets, open your closets, to see that it looks organized and neat. And here's tip number six. If you have pets, do what you have to do so there are no signs of pets in your house. Put away the food bowls, the water dishes, the toys, the beds. Make sure your pets are not in the house as well. And here's tip number seven. If you have prescription medications and you keep them in a medicine cabinet, make sure you remove them before your open house. Same goes for medications that you might keep in the kitchen, on your uh, bedroom, nightstand, dresser. Put them away so that anyone who attends your open house doesn't see them and isn't tempted to take them. Let's talk about tip number eight, odors. Nobody wants to walk into your open house and smell a horrible odor. If you have pets, do your best to eliminate pet odors. And make sure you don't cook something the night before that's going to leave a horrendous odor because odors will rush people out the door and have little to no interest in your house. Here's tip number nine. Make sure your sidewalks and walkways are clear. And last but not least, leave your house. The real estate agent holding your open house has a plan in place, knows what to do, has the answers to the most frequently asked questions, and more importantly, is there to try and sell your house. After the open house concludes, your realtor will then get in touch with you, provide feedback, and tell you how it went. If you're thinking about selling a house in Carroll County, Maryland, or the surrounding areas, be sure to reach out so we can discuss what it takes to get your house sold. And stay tuned for my next video where we're going to discuss open houses. Do they really work? 